Hey everybody, Eric A. Renton here from SlashGay.com and today we're going to be just taking a quick look at the new Lenovo IdeaPad Yoga 13, which I have to say is one of the most interesting notebooks I've encountered lately. It's actually a convertible. It's a tablet slash notebook convertible, or I guess ultrabook if we want to use the technical term. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty wild, but you'll see what I'm talking about in just a few moments. For now though, we're going to check out the ports on the outside of this computer. We've got a full HDMI port right here, USB 3.0, uh, headphone jack, and then right here we've got buttons, volume buttons, for when you're using the tablet in, or when you're using the yoga in tablet mode. We've also got um, the one touch recovery button, uh, or whatever Lenovo calls it, I'm not sure exactly. And then we've got uh, the power button right here. And other than that, there's nothing else going on on the front of the computer. On the right side, we've got um, the screen lock button, which prevents the screen from switching in between landscape and portrait mode, which can be, you know, annoying if you're transitioning and your screen flips all over the place. We've also got a two-in-one card slot, USB, or yeah, USB 2.0, and then where you'll connect the power jack. Let's go ahead and open this guy up. Um, we've got a 13.3 inch screen. Ooh. Still in tablet mode from earlier. There we go. A 13.3 inch screen running at 1600 by 900 resolution, which is, in, which is interesting. We don't see that uh, that often on notebooks. You know, it's a semi popular uh, display for um, desktop monitors, but not really so much on notebooks. It's interesting, but it also leads to a display that's sharper than most, you know, other. Uh, Ultrabook displays, which are typically running at 1366 by 768. So, bonus. Um, another thing to point out is that this is running Windows 8, not Windows RT. So, you get the full Windows 8 experience with this. And it is indeed a touchscreen. You can use the touchscreen even when you're in laptop mode. So, if you just want to reach out and touch something, oh, touch something while you're using it in laptop mode, you can. And as you can see, the keyboard is nice. I mean, I haven't spent too much time with it yet, but uh, I like it so far. And we've also got a one-piece um, trackpad there, which if you've watched any of my other video reviews on laptops, one-piece trackpads annoy me, but not much you can do. There's also this handy little Windows button underneath the screen, which will take you back to the start screen, which is nice, especially if you're using Windows 8 for the first time. Oh, see? If you're using Windows 8 for the first time and you don't, you know, you don't really know how to get back to the start screen yet, it'll come in handy. Um, but yeah, let's take a look at the different modes that you can put this computer in, thanks to the 360 degree hinge that Lenovo's included. First up is stand mode, where you flip the screen over and you stand it up on the keyboard. Uh, it's cool. I, I, I like it. It's, you know, it's a stand without a stand, basically, and then... We have tent mode, which is where we flip it over like that and stand it up. This has to be, I think this is the weirdest of all of the configurations and it'll take some getting used to, but hey, I'm intrigued. And then we've also got regular old tablet mode, uh, which is cool. It takes some getting used to because on the back you've got the keyboard and it feels weird um, when you're using this in uh, any other mode other than, oh, nope, go back. Huh? The screen can be a little touchy sometimes. Weird. Anyway, uh, when you're using the Yoga 13 in any mode, other than laptop mode, um, the keyboard and the trackpad on the other side are disabled, so you don't have to worry about typing words you don't mean to or moving the cursor around. But yeah, first impressions are it's cool. It's a little weird. I'm only marginally freaked out by this thing. Um, I'm going to have to spend a little more time with it, of course, to form a solid opinion of it, but I like what I see so far. Uh, but yeah, check out the full review on SlashGear.com. It'll be coming up shortly, and thanks for watching.